Bridges, the Jefferson Avenue Bridge is a lifeline between the cities of Detroit and River Rouge, but it's been out of service for more than two years now, and it's likely to stay that way for at least another year. 7 Action News reporter Tara Edwards shows us what the holdup is tonight. It's a major thoroughfare for many business owners and drivers, but as you can see, the Jefferson Bridge is not open for business, and those who work in this area say it's impacting them in a major way. Signs reading Fix the Damn Bridge have been popping up along Jefferson and River Rouge. Fed up residents, business owners, and local politicians are tired of the broken Jefferson Bridge bringing traffic to a screeching halt. Businesses were so frustrated. The bridge has been closed for a couple of years now. It's taken way too long. Owners of Riviera Market in River Rouge say back when business was booming, their popular pizza would be sold out. But with the drawbridge over Rouge River out of service, it's caused sales to dwindle. It hasn't worked for a couple of years after a drunk operator lowered it onto a freighter. Now it takes about 11 minutes to get to the other side of the bridge, and that's driven a lot of customers away. It's been really tough for the last three years. Uh, no business from that side that was majority of our lunch business. Wayne County hired Anlon Corporation to fix the bridge. While Anlon had no comment, the county tells me since that time they've begun preliminary work. County Executive Warren Evans came into office in January of this year. He made repair of this bridge one of his highest priorities. Uh, in that regard, our county commission uh, approved the contract to do the repairs in August of this year. They add it's a complicated project. The county wants to make sure it's done right. While some business owners wait patiently, it's been a struggle. We are doing everything that we can to move as quickly as possible, understanding that this is a very old and complicated piece of machinery. And Wayne County officials say they try to keep in touch with the community as much as possible with updates, including quarterly meetings. Meanwhile, the project is supposed to wrap up next August. In Detroit, Tara Edwards, 7 Action News.